Let me tell you about the deception that the Illuminati and capitalist groups use. Let me explain it to you. They want to portray their enemies and people who refuse to accept their philosophy and worldview as being imbalanced and they want to portray themselves as being balanced and as being on the middle path. However, the original Islam itself was the religion of balance. It, it was the religion of the middle path. The Quran says that we have made you the nation of the middle path, Ummatun Wasatan. Ummatun Wasata. However, that real meaning of the middle path is to avoid all forms of evil. In other words, it is to reject both extremes and be on the middle path. For example, we don't want to be so conservative as to become nationalistic and isolated from everyone else. But we also don't want to be so liberal that we end up accepting and embracing every evil person and uniting and loving evil people and share in their crimes and in their sins. So the middle path is the path between the two wrong or evil paths. However, the Illuminati say that the middle path is the unity of good with evil. In other words, they see being good as an extreme and so they say that good needs to mix and unite with evil. This is the religion of the Yahud and the Satanic uh, Illuminati. However, the truth is that when you mix good with evil, not only is this not the middle path, as being good itself is the middle path, it, it balance itself is goodness. Balance is a good thing itself. But also mixing good with evil isn't even being neutral, but is actually the most evil path of all. Why? For, let, me give, let me give you an example. For example, it is good to give people healthy food. It's good to give someone uh, healthy food to eat. And it is evil to give people pure poison to eat. Now, if someone mixes the healthy food with poison, is that good or evil or a mixture or a combination? Well, that's actually worse. That's the worst thing you could possibly do. Because if you poison a healthy food, it becomes worse because people are going to eat it thinking that it's healthy and it's going to poison them. So giving people pure poison is actually not as evil as giving them a healthy food that has poison added to it. You see, that's the worst thing that you could possibly do, to poison a healthy food. Uh, but that's, you're not tricking people who wouldn't have eaten the poison into eating the poison. Well, th that is actually the Illuminati path. That's the ideology of the Illuminati. And in fact, they literally do this with many foods in the supermarkets. <laughs> Just check all the weird chemicals and ingredients they put into so many processed foods, especially chocolate, candies, and sweet drinks that they make for children. Well, you see, this is even more evil. As I said, this is more evil than selling pure poison. If they just sold you pure poison, you only an idiot would eat or drink the poison. So that's actually the most evil thing you could possibly do. Not only is it not balanced, it's not even neutral. Um, be, being neutral isn't good, but it's, they're not even neutral. They're the worst people in the world, if you think about it. And you see, uh, they do this because if you if they make people sick gradually, you see, if you, if you give people pure poison, they're gonna get sick right away, and they're gonna realize that this poison. And a few people might get sick and die, and the rest of the people are are gonna stop eating or drinking it. But if you give people foods that slowly make them weaker and sicker over time, gradually, then most people won't even notice it and they won't boycott or attack the manufacturers of the products. So, you see, mixing good with evil makes evil even more evil. It's like uh, timing a positive number in mathematics by a ne negative number. 
uh, the result is an even bigger negative number. For example, 2 times minus 6 is minus 12, and minus 12 is even lesser than si minus 6, is even more negative than minus 6. So when you m <laughs> combine positive with negative, it becomes even more negative. You see, because minus 12 is even more negative than minus 6 in this analogy. However, many of these Illuminati agents on television and also on the internet in recent years, they use the excuse that everything in nature has its opposite. And so just as we have night and day, men and women, heat and cold, water and fire, we also have good and evil. And so the unity of good and evil is natural and must be desired just like the unity of man and woman or hot and cold. So you don't want to be too hot and you don't want to be too cold. So the balance is desired. And this is why these Yahudis wanted to portray Islam as the religion of the moon and Gabriel. So that their own secret Illuminati religion would be the only religion of balance. In other words, they wanted to say that Muslims are with Gabriel or J uh, Jabrail and the moon who is symbolized by the moon in, in Kabbalist Judaism. And the religion that they pretended to practice in public was the religion of the sun or Mikhail. Just as we see that many of these Jesuits who are secretly Jewish, they pretend to be Catholics and their symbol is the sun. Uh, and so this was also going on at the time of the Prophet. The Jews were pretending to be the religion of the sun. And then in order to have peace and balance in the world, they tell us that we need to unite the two opposites. And so Muslims must abandon many of their beliefs for the sake of this unity between the sun and the moon, and between Jibreel and Mikhail, between the yin and the yang. Now compare this with this uh, verse from the Quran. Auto billahi min shaitan rajim so do you believe in part of the book and disbelieve in other parts? What repayment will there be for any of you who are such except disgrace in this world? And on the day of rising, they will be returned to the harshest of punishments. Allah is not unaware of what you do. It's interesting that if you read this verse in context, it is actually referring to the Bani Israel or sons of Israel. So Allah is telling us about their agenda, which is to only follow parts of the book, parts of the revelation, and reject the other parts. Of course, since Allah already revealed their agenda to us, these Batani Sufis, Shias, and other Yahudi secret societies came up with a new excuse. So today, instead of admitting that they disbelieve in many verses of the Quran, they instead claim that some verses are abrogated and other verses are metaphorical without actually having any real proof. But when we go and read the primary books of the Shias, such as Usul al-Kafi, we find that they literally disbelieve in some verses and they claim that Omar and Uthman added and removed verses from the Quran which is ridiculous because Ali became caliph after Omar and Uthman. So why didn't he restore the Quran? And so the Shias, instead they, they, they lie to the public because they don't want their secret beliefs to be exposed because it's easy to just you know, refute the Shias and say that, hey, how come Ali didn't restore the Quran? And how come Allah couldn't protect the, his final book? So they, they come up with another excuse to the public, to the masses, and they said, oh, it's, this ayah is metaphorical, or this ayah is abrogated. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim Among the Jews are those who distort words from their context, and they say, we hear and we disobey. Anyway, we have also seen that Sufism originated from Shiism, and the Botany Sufis are actually Shias in disguise, which is why they agree with them on the Quran being metaphorical and abrogated. This is also why, despite appearing as the ultimate extremist fundamentalist and the strictest leaders of Islam, 
the Shias and Batani Sufis at the same time try to lead their followers towards liberalism and alliance and unity with the UN, Russia and then America and finally even Israel. So you see, they create the extremist frustrating versions of Islam as reverse psychology to make us move away from it towards accepting their liberal Illuminati religion instead. As Allah says to the Prophet in the Quran, It was through Allah's mercy that you dealt with them gently. For had you been harsh and hard of heart, they would surely have broken away from you. Now you understand why people such as Khamenei and Khomeini and Jaulani and many so-called uh, scholars since the Abbasid era act so harsh and many of them even say that it is forbidden to follow your heart. Many of them are deliberately trying to turn people away from the Islamic uh, fundamentalism that they pretend to represent. Of course, some uh, scholars have simply been indoc indoctrinated into this harsh extremist path and eventually they start to move away from it a little. But sadly, I don't see many people going all the way back to the original Islam. While, uh, while others give in to the enemy and think that they are becoming more balanced by accepting the Zionist perversion and the liberal Im Illuminati. However, the real Islam itself was the religion of balance. And this is why the Quran praises both Mikail and Jebrail. And the Quran also mentions both the sun and the moon as signs of Allah as well as the day and the night, and males and females, the karab al -unfa. And the way to see through the Illuminati propaganda is to think, inst instead of just accepting their association of such things with good and evil, and accepting their logical fallacies, accepting their false equivalencies. For you see, there are good men and there are evil men. There are good women and evil women. Sometimes good things happen at night and bad things happen during the day and vice versa. So being good and being evil has nothing to do with being a man or being a woman or being hot and cold or day and night. You see, not all opposites are related. As I explained earlier, you mustn't mix poison with food. And in fact, the correct way of comparison is to compare this with a marriage between an evil man and a good woman or vice versa. That's the correct uh, uh, analogy of combining good and evil. It's not a marriage between a man and a woman, rather it's the marriage between an evil man with a good woman or an evil woman with a good man. In fact, the Illuminati and Zionist groups, they, they don't admit this in public, but they, in fact, in their actual belief, in their actual ideology, they actually want to make good men marry evil women and vice versa. They want to make good, good and bad people have relationships with each other. They actually want to corrupt good people by making them uh, have friends and you know, wives and girlfriends and boyfriends with evil people. They want to defile and corrupt our souls. That's their actual ideology. That is actually what they re really believe. So it's not just that I'm giving this analogy, this is actually what they really believe. But they lie to us and they say, see, it's just, just like night and day, men and women, hot and cold, wet and dry. It's the same thing. It's just balance. But you see, the reality is that they want good men and evil women and good women and evil men to mix together and this is what how they seek to corrupt the good you see marriage between a good man and a good woman who love each other has nothing to do with uniting good with evil just as the angels Jebrail and Mikael have nothing to do with evil both these angels 
both Jibreel and Mikael are good angels, as are Israfil and Israel and other angels. They're all good, you see? So we don't need to combine good with evil just like Jibreel and Mikael, because Jibreel and Mikael are both good. And so the balance between them has nothing to do with, the unity between them has nothing to do with uniting good with evil. It's, uh, it's irrelevant. You see, n not everything is the same. You can't just say that because it, it would be like saying that, um, for, for example, let's, let's say the day and night. The day and night, the day is actually better than the night. Almost everyone prefers the day over the night. But the night is an evil. You see, the night is an evil, but the day is slightly better. So, I mean, it's, it's different for everything. You can't just say that, oh, everything is just yin and yang. Everything is just the opposite and they're both equal. The opposites are always equal and they're always the same. And uh, uniting a man with a woman is the same as uniting good with evil. No, it's not. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's completely illogical, even though it seems logical. They make it sound philosophical and logical, but it's actually total nonsense what they're saying.